all right so now we'll work on this share qr code function so here i'll create one intent i'll name it as a share intent and this will be equals to intent and here i'll specify the action so intent dot action send and then i'll use a dot apply function in order to add some properties to this intent so i'll use put extra function here in which uh, we'll pass the data so first we need to specify what kind of data we want to pass so i'll be passing extra stream here so intent dot extra stream and it is a constant for passing the uris so now we don't have any uri we just have the bitmap all right so for that for converting this bitmap into the uri i'll call one function which will be get uri from bitmap and let's just create this function so i'll use this red bulb and this will return the data of type uri and this will be happy cool and then we can also pass the text here so in order to pass the text so i'll use intent dot extra text and here i'll write the text so scan this code cool and then i'll specify the type of the content oh so the type will be image slash star cool so our intent is ready now we can start the activity with this intent so i'll call the function start activity and here i'll i'll pass intent dot create chooser which will uh, ask user to select the app that he wants to send the data with here we need to pass two parameters first is the target so our target will be this intent and then the title of this uh, create chooser so i'll use share via here you can write anything whatever you want cool so our share qr code function is done uh, now we need to work on this get uri from bitmap function we need to convert the bitmap to the uri so we have our bitmap over here uh, let's just change the name of this variable and make it global variable so we can just access it over there so qr bitmap and i'll create one uh, variable here so private var qr bitmap this will be of type bitmap and this will be nullable will assign a null value initially to it cool so here we also need to change to qr bitmap so here what we'll do uh, i'll use one try catch block here first so try and we'll catch the exception here so e dot we can get io exception here so i exception and then we'll just uh, log it so log e and e dot message and now inside the try block i'll create one file so val file this will be equals to file and here i'll write this dot get external files dir so external files dir and we want a uh, environment directory pictures so directory pictures and then the second parameter which will be the file name so for the file name i'll write a qr code and to make it unique uh, we'll use system dot current time in millis and i'll use the extension as a dot png cool so here we have this file and then i'll create one output stream so out i'll name it as a out stream and this will be equals to file output stream and here we need to pass the file so file and then our qr bitmap i'll use compress function on it so compress and then the format so bitmap dot compress format dot png the type and the quality well, let's provide 90 here 
and then we need to provide the out stream cool so as the qr bitmap is nullable we need to specify the null safety operator and we need to return the uri form here so this can be nullable so let's just add a question mark here and return null from the bottom so if we get a exception we'll return the null value and from here we need to return the uri actual uri so i'll use a return function here so return so now we need to use a file provider uh, in order to convert this uh, file or bitmap to the uri so file provider is basically a subclass of content provider so file provider provides us a better ways or a secure ways to share data between other applications and our application so let's just use that so file provider and it is coming from androidx.core.content and here we have one function which is get uri for file and we need to provide the context first so this and then we need to provide authority and file as you can see we got uh, we need to pass these three uh, parameters context authority and file so the file we have it over here so let's just pass the file and for the authority uh, we need to do some things inside our manifest file and we need to add first of all let's just add the file paths so just open your xml box inside the resources and we'll click on it we'll create a new xml resource file and we'll name it as a file paths and let's just go to the code mode and here what i will write i'll write paths and inside this path will provide external files path and it is asking us for the name and path so let's just name it as a external files and the path will be pictures and then i will close this so we are using pictures here because here we specify the directory pictures that's why we are providing the pictures path over here and then we need to uh, specify the provider as we are using the content provider here we need to specify the provider inside the application tag in our manifest file and we also need to we also need to provide this file paths as a metadata over there so let's just add the provider so provider and again it is asking us for few parameters authorities and name so inside the name let's just uh, give it a name first so we need to write android x dot core dot contain dot file provider and the authorities will be dollar sign application id dot provider and then we'll provide a grant uri permission we'll make it true and we'll make exported as a false cool and inside this we'll have the metadata so metadata again we need to give it a name so name android dot support dot file provider underscore paths this should be underscore as well cool and then we need to provide the path so resource annotation xml and we have the file paths for there file paths now you can close this cool so now let's just move on to the main activity and here what we can do uh, we need uh, that application id this one which is our package name so in order to access that package name previously we used to use this build config dot application id but but now we don't get this build config uh, automatically we need to enable it so to enable it uh, we need to write build config inside the build features so build config we need to make it true and then i'll click on the sync now all right uh, it is synced 
now let's let's go back to the main activity and here the build config will be fine and we'll use the application id here so application id and we'll concatenate it with the provider so dot provider cool so now uh, so now we can uh, run our application and we can see this is working or not so let's just uh, click on the run button so our application is installed and let me just click uh, write coding stuff here again so coding stuff and then i'll click on the generate qr and now let me click on the share qr button and yeah as you can see uh, we got this file name qr code and the timestamp and the extension dot png and we got uh, multiple applications here with with we can share the data so i'll just click on the whatsapp and i'll try to share the data and i'll see it's working or not so yeah that is working i have shared this qr code on the whatsapp and it successfully sent over there so yeah that's it for this video you'll get the source code in the description box so if you get some errors you can check with that and in the next video we'll see how we can scan the qr code so yeah do subscribe and thank you for watching